Ash, a story of conquerors in the conquered on the White Cliffs of Dover, and it was literally a breakthrough day. Formula One climbs the mountains in Austria this morning. A Frenchman takes a wild ride. It's the last race day of summer, the 21st of September this Sunday, 1992. Well, good race day to you. I'm Rick Benjamin, just back from Dover Downs. We've got a lot of coverage today from Dover coming your way in a couple of moments because our headliner here today is the Winston Cup Series. 400 grueling laps coming up on the high bank concrete of Dover. Our coverage of the NBNA 400 coming up in a few moments, noon Eastern time, right after race day here on TNN. Standing by in Delaware's capital city is Eli Gold to call the action for us. Eli, the top three in the Winston Cup points line up in the first three spots today. It's a very interesting story, Rick, and one thing they're going to have to contend with as opposed to what you dealt with when you were here yesterday, changing temperatures. It's about 15 degrees cooler today than it was yesterday. The wind really blowing in off the water, so the conditions far different than they were here on yesterday's uh, race day. But, of course, on Friday, it was different yet again, and that was the day they ran for the Bush Bowl. Mark Martin, quickest of the lot in the Valvoline Ford. He likes this racetrack to run on, although he says, quite honestly, it's not my favorite favorite track. It's a grueling one-mile layout, and the speeds exceed 170 miles an hour on the straightaways. But that lap right there, quick enough to put him on the bush pole. Who's alongside? Well, Jeff Gordon, there's Dale Jarrett, the front three guys in points. Dick Trickle loves this racetrack. Great starting spot for Hutch Strickland, Rick Mast, and Ricky Craven. As for the rest of those other notable names, well, there are some interesting. Morgan Shepard back in the number one car. Terry Labonte all the way back in 34th. And Jeff Burton with that inner ear problem plans to go as far as possible today. Indication this morning, he thinks he can go the 400 miles, but again, Todd Bodine is standing by. But the big story, obviously, Mark Martin starting on the pole. That battle for the point championship, what better place to start than on the front row? He's standing by in the garage area right now with Matt Yoakum. Let's visit with them. Eli, for the 35th time in his career, Mark Martin will lead the field to green today. But what he really wants is that 175 points you can get for the win because of that great points chase you have going on. Yeah, uh, we're, you know, we're just going to give it our best shot. We've got a great car this weekend, and... You know, I'm just thankful for the opportunity to drive a car that'll run run this fast and be here at Dover. Hopefully, uh, you know, we'll have a decent day. The car's been real good, and we'll see what happens. You finished second here three times. What's the biggest key to surviving the Wrath of the Monster? Being in the right place at the right time. You know, you, you, you never know where the wrecks are going to be, and you never know if you're going to get through them, and it, you either do or you don't. Uh, We've run second here a lot, but we should have won a number of races here and haven't ever won here. So this is a racetrack that we can't believe we haven't won. We've won a racetrack that we don't even run good at. Uh, and, and we always run real well here. So uh, maybe today will be a good day for us. Well, good luck. A lot of people say Mark Martin is the man to be today. He was awfully fast in happy hour. Eli? Matt, thank you. And Rick, as we wrap it up, how about the story of Junie Donlevy's car? Remember, it was 16 years ago today yeah. that with Jody Ridley at the wheel, they won here at Dover, and Trickle starts fourth. Maybe today is the day that Junie can get back to victory lane. It'd be a great story, and I know you'll have that and much more for us coming up in about half an hour. Thanks, Eli Gold, live okay. in Dover. This is the first time the Winston Cup cars will go 400 miles at Dover, so the race will be a little shorter today and ought to be very, very exciting. Now, as Eli mentioned, Jeff Burton does expect to be at the wheel of the Exide Ford when the green flies at Dover in a few moments, Burton's ailment has been diagnosed as a virus, which infected the nerve and sends messages from his brain to his inner ear. Now, that upset Burton's balance. Last week at Loudon, particularly, Jeff had to give way to Todd Bodine at the first caution. Bodine brought the car home 14th. That allowed Burton to stay fourth in the Winston Cup points chase. This week, though, the Roush driver is hoping to go the full distance if things go well for him at Dover Downs. I didn't think yesterday that I could do it, but today went went really well, and I've seen improvement not only in the car but out of the race car through the last couple of days. So uh, I hope I'm on the downhill slide of this thing. Now Burton does start from the rear today after Todd Bodine qualified the 99 car Friday, but the car ought to be strong. We'll see if Burton can make his way through the field. When we continue on race day, highlights from Formula One on track this morning in Austria, and more from Dover, where the Bush Series had a great battle Saturday. And here's the surprise. Buckshot Jones at the center of the storm. The details when race day rolls on. Race day is brought to you by Mopar, Chrysler Corporation Parts, and the Chrysler Plymouth Dodge Jeep and Eagle dealers who sell and install them.
parts for Pro Stock and your vehicle. Get real. Get Mopar. Team Mopar. Parts for top fuel dragsters and your vehicle. Get real. Get Mopar. There's a medical emergency, but no hospital. What do you do? Build one. Leadership. Learn it now in the Army Reserve. Use it now in your career. Men, is gray hair sneaking up on you right under your nose? It is sneaking up on me. Here, too. You need Just for Men gel. Brush in and in five minutes, rinse. It's the sure thing for a natural look. Just for Men gel. Get ready to roll as Miller Brewing Company presents TNA Motorsports Inside Track Sweepstakes. Think you know NASCAR? We'll show you the inside track. You could win an all-expense-paid trip to one of these eight NASCAR Winston Cup races, including airfare, hotel, and $1,000 cash. It's the real thing. The pits, the rigs, the teamwork. Here's the deal. You'll get to meet one of these three drivers. Check out the action on Pit Row and enjoy the race from the comfort of our luxury box. To enter, send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to TNN Motorsports, Inside Track Sweepstakes, TNN Station, P.O. Box 3550, Southbury, Connecticut, 06488. Eight races, let's go. Remember, if you don't win this time, you're still eligible for the next drawing. Enter now. You still got a shot to win. I'll, I'll see, see you at the track. track. Brought to you by Split Fire Spark Plugs and Napa Auto Parts. Hope you were with us yesterday from Dover for that very wild Bush Series bash on the concrete high banks. A day of multiple lead changes, a lot of carnage, and at the end, a fresh face in victory lane. Dick Trickle had the pole yesterday, but lost the lead to Ricky Craven in the first turn. Craven would spend the next 70 laps out front of the Ray Bestis deuce. Big trouble several times during the afternoon. This is Elton Sawyer getting into the back end of Jeff Fuller. It touches off a multi-car pileup. Dale Shaw, Michael Waltrip, Ricky Tim Zock all involved in this one. Nobody injured, fortunately. During the caution, Randy LaJoy's base motorsports team turns in a great pit stop. LaJoy jumps from fourth to first. That's why he's the point leader. Ten laps later, Kevin LePage hammers the wall. Bill Parsons and Jeff Crow get into it, too. Crow slamming LePage's machine. All the drivers also okay. The day would end early for Craven as we watch Crow's car damage. Shortly after halfway, the crank let go on the Raybesta Chevrolet. And that set up this. A hard hit for Hermie Sadler off of four. Hits the outside wall, bounces back to the inside gate. Right where the wall splits, sheared off the left front corner of the DeWalt 2 Chevrolet. Sent parts flying down pit road. Long red flag yesterday. Fixed that boilerplate inside gate. They had to get the Porta Powers out, the welders and more. Restart finally sets up a 28-lap sprint to the finish. LaJoy, Buckshot Jones, and Joe Bessier, the key players. With 13 to go off of two, Jones and Bessier nose to tail. Maybe a touch, maybe not. Jones goes spinning into the wall. Bessie takes over. The Mainer holds off the point leader, LaJoy, in the closing laps to grab his first career Bush Series, Bush Series win. And Buckshot's crew tries to make it a little tough for Bessie to get into victory lane at the end. I don't know if anything will come of that incident or not. At this point, LaJoy comes home second behind Bessie to pad his point lead yesterday. Matt Kenseth with a nice third, and Mike Dillon continues his late-season surge to come home in fourth spot. Our Steve Burns was on pit road for us yesterday. He has the post-race scoop from Dover Downs. 11 different drivers have won a NASCAR Busch Series race in 1997. We'll make it 12 because Joe Bessie won his first ever career race here at Dover, surviving a late skirmish with Buckshot Jones. I'm just so happy. Power Team Chevrolet. And I can't, uh, as far as the Buckshot deal, he just lost it. Coming off from two, and I had, I could have, Given up the win, or I could have kept going for the win, and I went for the win. I was running a different line, I guess, than most of the people out there. And, you know, I've not seen the tape or nothing, so I don't want to say nothing bad. You know, Joe's a good driver. I get along with Joe fine, but I don't know. It's just, you know, it's aggravating when you get up there, and then, you know, you get an incident that late in the race. You know, there ain't that many laps left. Todd Bodine lost ground in his chase for the Bush Grand National Point Series Championship to Randy LaJoy. He chased a loose race car all day long, finishing 15th. Now, LaJoy didn't win the race, didn't win the battle, but he may have won the war. Overall, a second, our, our second place in the, in the big picture. I'm not sure what the point spread is now, but it's got to be more. And, you know, we could have a couple of bad races, and, and he could get some points back. But uh, 
we just, you know, the race team keeps giving me good race cars, and I keep using my head and driving halfway smart and not running into nobody. I mean, we, we want that head table in Miami again. Uh, that's, that's a cool place to be. Randy LaJoy and the rest of the NASCAR Bush Series drivers have next weekend off. They return to action the week after in Charlotte. Reporting for race day, I'm Steve Burns. Thanks, Steve. The wheel man of the Bush Series uh, car, the 74, Randy LaJoy, now with a 231-point lead over Todd Bodine. Charlotte next in two weeks. The Formula One World Championship Tour making its way to Arnold Schwarzenegger's homeland this morning, Austria, for the Grand Prix at the Oster Reich Ring. Jacques Villeneuve had the pole today, trying to do like Arnold and track down point leader Michael Schumacher. Off the start today, Mika Hakkinen would grab the point from the Canadian as they roll away from the standing start. A couple of laps later, Hakkinen goes off course. Gets it gathered up. Now, this is John Alisi in big trouble, and the Benetton goes up over a wheel. Gets airborne into the sand trap. He's okay, but uh, obviously his chance is ruined. Point leader Michael Schumacher with a difficult day. Had to go to the pits here and take a 10-second penalty. David Coulthard would lead until he came to pit road on lap 43. And once again, all the passing done on pit road. Villanova reclaiming the lead. Goes on to the win. His sixth of the year. He's only one point behind. And the point standings now for the Formula One title chase. The Formula One tour runs next week in Germany at the Nürburgring. And when we continue on race day... The latest garage area information for you in Winston Cup. And we'll sit down with Dale Earnhardt, find out how the seven-time champion is dealing with what's been a difficult season when race day returns. My owner works, and we leave the house at 7 in the morning and rarely get home before 5. And that's not sitting in parking lots. That's on the road, chugging and jiving and picking up the kids. And we drop things off. And thankfully, we use Chevron with Tecron. It helps keep my intake valves clean and my emissions low. In car talk, that's big stuff. No gasoline cleans your engine better than Chevron with Tecron. Chevron, simply smarter. People shop at All Pro and Bumper to Bumper Auto Parts for all sorts of reasons. I like the price. No matter what I'm looking for, I get the best value right here, right now. Great service and expert advice. Look at this selection. Everything from fix up to dress up and all these national brands. All Pro and Bumper to Bumper have just what I'm looking for. You know, in my business, I have to have the best quality parts, the best service, and the best prices. I can get all three right here. All Pro and Bumper to Bumper Auto Parts. Everything you need to do the job right. Today on TNN Motorsports. There's hot shots and long shots. But at Dover, everybody has a shot. That was true in June when Ricky Rudd didn't have the fastest car. But he did have... A big finish. So who will turn the tide on the Monster Mile this time? Find out by watching the MBNA 400. Live today at noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. It's right here on TNN Motorsports. The leader in motorsports coverage. Welcome back. You know, it's been one of the most puzzling questions of the Winston Cup season. What's the problem with Dale Earnhardt? The winless streak now 52 and counting. The bizarre blackout at Darlington as well uh, in that mix. It's certainly been a year of questions for the seven-time Winston Cup champion, but in a conversation this week, Mr. Earnhardt leaves no doubt he's got some strong answers. Yeah, then let's go to Daytona. I want to win every race from here till then. So where can you win? Dover. Everywhere. Charlotte. All of them. Every race lined up from here on out. The determination is still there, even though the results aren't what Earnhardt had been hoping for. I asked Dale if battling back in the pack and not for the lead is starting to wear on him. Well, it does. But you look around, you're racing Dale Jarrett for eight, or six, and that's where we were at. And, and, and you know, he's had a great year and, and won, you know, won races and won Richmond. And you go with, <laughs> it's just tough. I mean, you know, you want to be there racing Jeff Gordon, not. Jarrett for six, and Jarrett's the one guy won the last race. I mean, uh, the guy that at the front, so you want to be racing no matter who it is, and it suit me if it was Jimmy Spencer for that matter, but I'd like to win. I want to beat him and win. Racing is the quintessential team sport. When things don't go well, everyone looks at the team. Where does the seven-time cup champion want his good ranch group to get better? I think everywhere. I think it's not something that you just stay and look at, well, it'll be better next race. You've got to make it better. You, and then the guys are doing it. They they went to Richmond, and we had a tough night. Of course, Larry, he had a baby, and he wasn't there. And we were a little conservative in practice because we didn't want to overstep our bounds with the chassis. And uh, then it turned around, and they, they turned that car around the next week, put a whole side on it, and reworked the car and went back to New Hampshire. And, our chances or opportunity to win there were good, but they don't give up. They keep focusing. They analyze and looking and Spinny Clendon and all the guys in the Indian shop. It's a tremendous race team, and 
they deserve to win, and, and I guarantee you they'll be back on track here for long. As you can see, Dale is not alone in having a long dry spell among drivers who've been to victory lane more than one time. Earnhardt gets a shot, though, at ending the winless streak in a few moments at Dover. He'll start 33rd today. More with the seven-time Cup champion tonight here on Race Day. Elsewhere from Dover, some surprising developments in Winston Cup this week. And after weeks of wondering where the money had gone, and as we told you might happen a couple of weeks ago here on Race Day, Scandia Bodine Racing came to a decision this week. They've taken the close call sponsorship logos off of Brett Bodine's Ford. The car will run in clean black this race day. One week after Johnny Benson announced he's moving from Bahari to Roush Racing next season, as we take a good look at the 11 car, Bahari team owner Chuck Ryder has hired Derek Cope, who's now driving the Skittles Pontiac. Cope will take over as driver of the number 30 machines. He's got a three-year deal to jump into the seat at Bahari Racing, starting at Daytona. Uh, we're just going to come in and work very hard this winter. Um, I'm going to be here a lot, you know, working on shock absorbers and be a part of this thing, and something I haven't been able to do with 36 car, and um, I think it's going to make a difference. Might say it's back to the future, too. Richard Jackson and Morgan Shepard are back together. Shepard left the number one Pontiac earlier for the Jasper Engines Ford. Didn't have much luck there. So now Morgan will shepherd the RNL Carriers Pontiac the rest of the season. Morgan tells me he's happy to be back at home. It was real hard for me to leave this team whenever I left uh, because Richard Jackson is such a good family and all these guys. We just kind of uh, fitted together, you know. Uh, but it was a business deal. And anyway, here I am again. Morgan had three top tens in the one car before leaving a few weeks ago. He starts 15th today. The team was very happy with that qualifying run. It's certainly been a wild stock car racing weekend here on TNN Motorsports. Friday night, the ASA stars put on a wild show from Hawkeye Downs Raceway in Iowa. A wild fire and then a three-way fight to the finish that ended with the winner's car up in the air. Our Ralph Shaheen recaps the race story. Rick, for the second time in the 1997 season, the AC Delco Challenge Series has ventured here to Hawkeye Downs Speedway in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Steve Carlson started on the pole with a new track record, and once they took the green, it didn't take long for the action to get started. The first major incident of the night ruined Bob Seneca's chances of a win. Paul Payne, Justin Dirks, Chuck Hemmingson, and Kurt Martin were all involved. A few laps later, local hero Brad Loney, a winner just a week ago at I-70, saw his night end up against the wall with Mike Kofer and Tim Sauter. The scariest moment came on lap 191. When race leader Brandon Sperling and Johnny Spa get together, a hard impact ruptures Spa's fuel cell and ignites an inferno. Fortunately, both drivers climbed out unscathed. Then just three laps from the finish, points leader Kevin Sawinski gets tapped by Ted Smokestad and loses valuable points to second place man Gary St. Amant as his night is done. They are now just 149 points apart in the chase for the championship. The finish was classic ASA. Off of turn four, Scott Hansen in the middle, Mike Miller on the outside in the red car, and Steve Carlson go three wide to the line. Hansen wins by a nose, followed by Carlson and Miller, and then gets airborne. Everybody survives and makes their way to victory lane. Doesn't get much better than that. Thanks a lot, Ralph Sawinski. Still the point leader, Hanson the winner Friday night ASA at Jennerstown. A week from today, you'll see it live here on TNN Motorsports. When we continue, yeah, we've got a lot more to tell you about, and you can find out more than you might possibly want to know about the world of racing. Country.com is our web page, your source for all things country and all things in motorsports, plus our weekly race day commentary. We'll be right back with more. Where do the best drivers go to get a head start? Morning, Jeremy. Morning, Jeff. Kmart, because our car care department stocks only the most performance-driven batteries around, like the new Exide NASCAR Select, the battery Jeremy Mayfield and Jeff Burton use in their race cars, the same one Mark Martin and 21 other teams put in their cars. So if you want the official battery of NASCAR in your car, you better get into your nearest Kmart. Chances are, there's one just around the corner. NASCAR performance, Kmart low prices. The lemurs of Madagascar. Flying through the jungle from tree limb to tree limb, these curious simians can leap up to 30 feet in a single bound. Reminds me of Motel 6. We're improving by leaps and bounds by renovating all our places nationwide. But even with all these nice new extras, we're not about to monkey around with your wallet. Because the price is still the best of any national chain. The new Motel 6. It's a real eye-opener. Promotional fee and consideration paid by 
Gladiator and Universal Luxury Vans, the official van of tracks, teams, and drivers throughout the NASCAR world. Call 1-800-445-2825 for a dealer near you. By Featherlight Trailers, the official trailer of NASCAR, IndyCar, IRL, and major sponsor of the NHRA. Remember to call Featherlight for all your trailer needs at 1-800-800-1230 or 319-547-6000. Race fans, kick off the 1997 NASCAR season with this exclusive offer, an authentic TNN Motorsports NASCAR Thunder Mini Helmet made by Simpson Race Products. Call today or visit your local NASCAR Thunder store to purchase this one-of-a-kind limited edition collectible. Call 1-800-338-6016. Subscribe to Stock Car Racing Magazine at the low introductory price of $14.97. Call toll-free 1-889-STOCK-CAR. Save 68%. Toll-free 1-888-9-STOCK-CAR. Just a few minutes away from the start of the NBNA 400, live here on TNN from Dover, Delaware, this afternoon. A surprise in qualifying. Veteran Dick Trickle will line up fourth today. He's standing by with our Steve Burns. Rick, Dick Trickle was on the pole for yesterday's Bush Series race, but broke. Today, you start fourth. Can you pull the upset and win? Well, you know, uh, we're getting in line to win. You know, the way I say it, you got to acquire a win. You know, the team has to win a race, and I'd, I'd be a lucky driver at that point. But, you know, the Heilig Meyer team, I think we're growing. You know, we're, we're, we're going to another level, and a lot of hard work being done. We're gelling well. We're communicating good. And uh, the way I put it, if you be bobbing that top five a while, on a given day, you're going to win. You know, the strategy's got to be right. You can't have any bad luck. And... Uh, no, I think we are getting in line to win, but just one that's going to be is probably going to be the least expected race. Dick, why do you get around this track so well? You qualify well every time you come here. Well, you know, I always say the better horse you got, the higher you can jump. It's, uh, it's a deal where uh, I know somehow this track is, is a, it's a fast track for its size, and, you know, I like speed. Uh, evidently, my driving style, you know, the setup that I like to, to put in the car, evidently it works for me and works at these tracks. You know, Bristol's a... Small track, I've run good at Bristol. Uh, I've run good at Rockingham. Now, I feel, uh, although I'm supposed to be a short track ace, that I've caught on to the, the speedways like the Atlantas, the Charlottes, the Dovers, uh, as well as I have the short tracks. All right, thanks a lot. Best of luck, Dick. He won his first Bush Series race this year at Hickory. Today, trying to win his first ever Winston Cup race. Rick? Be great to see him in victory lane. Thanks, Steve. We wish Dick Trickle well today. Our Mopar performance update. The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series stars have the week off, second straight week, in fact. Our Bob Diller says that next week's run at Martinsville begins a nonstop stretch run to the title. You get four guys right now can still win this championship, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a battle right at the end. The truckers make their way to Southern Virginia next weekend for 250 tough laps around the half-mile Martinsville Speedway. Ron Hornaday was the quickest in this week's test session, but the two drivers just ahead of him in the standings also have their eye on the win in the Haynes 250. We ran off a good at Martinsville last year. We ran third. I believe we could win Martinsville. It's one of the tracks that kind of like old Lake Geneva track back home I ran and, and always run good there, and I always run good at Martinsville. A wide variety of tracks with six races remaining on the Craftsman Truck Series, but the last three are on super speedways, and that's where Jack Sprague shines the brightest. That's the part that really gets me pumped up, is the three last races are the awesome for us. So the second half seems like luck's going a little bit better our way than it was the first half, and we're just plugging in finishes. And, you know, that's what we have to do. I mean, I'd, I'd like to win more races this year, and I still think we will, but it, it, it's not the most important thing. The big picture is to win this championship. Bickle is Sprague's nearest challenger, 95 points back. Defending champ Ron Hornaday and Joe Rutman are also still in the hunt, but they need some sort of help to close the gap on the series leader. You know, you try anything, mind games or anything. So, uh, you know, uh, you work them on Jack more because he's the youngest. Uh, Ron wouldn't go for it, you know, and Rich wouldn't let me touch him. Everybody's got a shot at it, so we're, we're not giving up. Uh, this Napa team is going to work hard as they can right now. I think we got four or five, six races left, and we're going to do as best we can. Reporting for race day, I'm Bob Dillner. All right, thanks, Bob. More to come. We'll be right back. for sprint cars and your vehicle. Get real. Get Mopar. Team Mopar. Parts for NASCAR Super Truck and your vehicle. Get real. Get Mopar. Hi, yes. 
son. Hi, Dad. I'm off to work now. Okay, Dad. With complete 24-hour service, Geico Auto Insurance starts working on your claim immediately. Be careful, Weather. Look at your back in your car quickly, so you won't have to rely on alternate transportation. Geico Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Fine-looking dog you got there, Jack. Name's Poolan, after my trusty chainsaw. That's Poland. Oh, and to think he's been answering to the wrong name for all these years. Dang. How do you get this equipment to these troops when there's a river between them? Build a bridge. Problem solving. You need it now in college. Learn it now in the Army Reserve. The Chase to Conquer. A tight competition of made in the USA horsepower. Where asphalt tests your nerves and triumph becomes your desire. It's the SCCA Trans Am Series. Live from Pikes Peak International Raceway is the Children's Hospital Grand Prix of Colorado. Saturday, September 27th, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific on TNN Motorsports. The leader in motorsports coverage. We're out of time. Winston Cup Racing Live is next. See you tonight at 10 on Race Day. Race Day is brought to you by Mopar, Chrysler Corporation Parts, and the Chrysler Plymouth Dodge Jeep and Eagle dealers who sell and install them. Drivers, race teams, and race fans. Visit, experience, shop Simpson World, a racer and race fan superstore featuring the complete line of Simpson safety products plus the latest fan merchandise and collectibles. Now open in Mooresville, North Carolina, Torrance, California, and Indianapolis, Indiana. Go behind the scenes with Ernie Irvin in the exclusive video documenting his triumphant return to racing. Order Miracles Happen, the Ernie Irvin Comeback. Call 1-800-385-3087. Radio communications are provided by Racing Radios. For all your business and racing communications needs, as well as scanners and frequency lists, call on Racing Radios at 1-800-669-1522. For only $19.95, plus shipping and handling, you can get your copy of RCR, the Making of Champions video, today by calling 1-800-981-7854. Race fans, you make the call. New LCI residential long-distance customers receive 30 minutes of free domestic calling and the World Card Plus calling card featuring participating drivers. Don't delay. Call now, 1-888-TEAM-LCI. For everything automotive on the World Wide Web, www.theautochannel.com. The MBNA 400, next on TNN. Line them up. Turn on the power. Wrap up the excitement. Shift into high gear and take no prisoners. The American Speed Association, celebrating 30 years. It's the AC Delco Challenge Series Pennsylvania 400, live from Jennerstown Speedway, Sunday, September 28th, 1 Eastern, 10 Pacific on TNN Motorsports, the leader in motorsports coverage.